talk about the guy that is most mentioned in here besides George Shire. <laughs> no, I'm not the most mentioned. Uh, no. Is is Mick Bockwinkle. Who? Mick Bockwinkle uh, is mentioned more in this book, which is a good thing. He was he's very he was a great talent. He was a great talker. And from what it sounds like, he was a good friend of yours. Talk about how that all started with you. Uh, you kind of describe in your book a little bit at the beginning, but I want to hear it. We'd like to hear it, I guess. Well, it, it, it was a struggle. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I became friends with Nick Blackwinkle with him keep kicking and screaming in the beginning. But uh, I didn't understand kayfabe at the beginning. You know, I thought mm -hmm. I had been very lucky so far up until the time I met Nick that wrestlers had been very kind to me, probably because they saw this young girl and I don't know, I'll be nice to her. I'll give her an autograph, you know, and then I then I met Nick or I went up to Nick and while he was uh, not mean at the beginning, uh, you know, he, he signed an autograph for me, but I, I, calling it cordial would be a, a, a huge stretch you know? and and I understand nowadays that you know it was so that you know 50 other fans didn't come up to bug you for autographs so and yeah. and he had a an image to portray that he's this aloof guy and he, he lived it you know almost all of his public life you know I didn't know that 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 wasn't really him that he was a nice mostly a nice guy <laughs> but anyway he uh he got used to seeing me and he would not only was I not I just I wasn't satisfied with just one autograph or one picture with him every single time I saw him I wanted an autograph and a picture you know I, hence the book why, <laughs> why I don't know but <laughs> it was like what if this is the last time I see him <laughs> or or I have to document that I saw him on this date and I have to mm -hmm. have a picture from this date. And, and uh, Nick would get to the part where he would sign the autograph for the 50th time or for the 100th time, which was not far from the truth. You know? But I think he thought I would just get tired and go away. You know? But on the inside, he uh, I think he kind of enjoyed it too because when I would go see him at fan events or conventions, then all of a sudden he was pretty nice and he was a nice guy he would pose for pictures he would smile he would talk to us but at the matches it was kind of like don't bother me kid you know and uh I didn't understand that for a long time and I thought and I was this not like me because I am uh, normally a very quiet and shy person but I was going to break through that exterior <laughs> I was really going to try and so uh he would see me taking pictures and um and and he would pose he would start to pose for me sometimes and and then uh, he would make just certain comments like well I suppose I could pose for a picture again you know and, yeah. and, and so begrudgingly over time he but it, it was not easy and and the proudest thing I can say after all those 40 some years of being a fan of Nick's that he told me that he was sorry that he had to be so mean to me at the beginning. <laughs> but it took 40 years for him to say that.